This election season has been unlike any other in American politics. But we're going to make it bigger and better and stronger than ever before. And that's People are saying enough is enough. They want a government which represents all of us and not just a handful of billionaires. Throughout this entire cycle, thanks to a campus-wide effort, Winthrop has had not just a front row seat, but a role in the political process. I'm glad to be here at Winthrop. This is great. This is an exciting time. It's a great time to be at Winthrop University. This is an amazing opportunity, especially for the young people on campus. It would almost be easier to name the candidates who didn't come here. It started in August of 2015 with Jeb Bush. He was followed by Mike Huckabee. Bernie, Hillary, and even Martin O'Malley whenever he was still in the race. Ben Carson was here. Carly Fiorina. Rand Paul, Ted Cruz, Donald Trump had a rally. There's just many events that were wonderful opportunities for students to get involved and to see democracy in action. November 6 was easily the biggest day in Winthrop's political cycle this time. We got to host the MSNBC uh, political forum for the Democratic candidates for president. But that wasn't even the only big political event we had that day. We had Republican presidential candidate Rand Paul along with U.S. Senator Tim Scott and U.S. Congressman Trey Gowdy at an event in the morning. It's a big deal to have two U.S. Senators and a leader of the House of Representatives on campus on the same day. That in itself is very significant. However, you take that and you add to it a former Secretary of State, a former governor, another United States Senator, and a major news organization on campus, it's a bipartisan extravaganza. And we're going to pull it off because we do these things well. Today, Winthrop is the epicenter of political conversation. Um, today, Winthrop is on the, the tongue of every politico uh, near and far. Uh, the worldwide media is, is converging upon this campus to hear from Hillary Clinton, Bernie Sanders, and Martin O'Malley. So just being a, a, a lover of politics, being a, a student of it, and a participant, I had to be here. are getting really what's going to be a hands-on experience in politics. Even the ones who have a passing interest will be able to see how an event like this is put together and how important it is for the nation. Winthrop University in Rock Hill, South That was a special day for us. We got to experience real politics firsthand. Our students got to see what they had come to college for in the real world, not on paper, not on a YouTube video played in class, but playing out in real time right in front of them. This is about how do we have a new New Deal? How do we begin to give everybody uh, more chances? I want to be the president for the struggling, the striving. We're very successful. fortunate to have that at a university. Just the amount of people they were bringing in and the diversity of candidates they were bringing in. We had a forum here for the Democrats that was on MSNBC and also a Donald Trump rally just a couple months apart. You know, that's a wonderful opportunity for students to get a diverse perspective on what's out there on the political spectrum. We've had the best polling numbers. We've had the best everything. I love you people. We are going to make America great again. I love you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Winthrop University is a really great place for this type of event. I think we have a student body that is very diverse. I think we closely resemble the population of South Carolina. It's a great public university where candidates can reach out to younger voters. They can also breach into that Charlotte market and they're dipping into South Carolina, which is an early primary state. It's the, the perfect storm of what a candidate likes to see whenever they're choosing a place to go. We started in 2008 with five presidential candidates, um, including then-Senator Barack Obama. That effort grew into a more substantial effort in 2012. Not only did we host eight presidential candidates on the Republican side who came to campus, but we had a significant number of activities, including a course that we offered in conjunction with the Democratic Convention in Charlotte. 
One major contribution to our ability to do this was the Winthrop poll. A new Winthrop University poll shows Donald Trump is the favorite Republican presidential Our polls candidate. have, you know, correctly predicted gubernatorial races, congressional races. So having a poll that's built more of a national reputation for the university, a poll that has legitimacy for its result, I think caused a lot of people to decide, hey, let's, let's give Winthrop a second look. We talk a lot about MSNBC being here. We were getting global media attention as well. We had BBC reporters. Obviously, we had CNN, Fox, all of those here as well. And then, of course, I don't think anybody's going to forget our shout out on Saturday Night Live. Tonight, we're coming to you live from Winthrop University in beautiful South Carolina. Coming to Winthrop University has allowed me a lot of experiences that I might not have had at another university. I've had the opportunity to meet politicians from all across the United States, from here in South Carolina. Winthrop University is small enough that students get that, really, that one-on-one -on -one experience, not with just professors, but with whoever's on campus. This whole experience of having Winthrop at the heart of a political season has meant that our students are that much more engaged in other aspects. So we have the registration drive, the debate watch parties. We have engagement with these research uh, forums that are put on by the West Forum and a million other entities. This is a place where we really do believe in the marketplace of ideas. We want to have our students be exposed to a wide variety of perspectives. And so we really hope that, that Winthrop University continues to be a destination for political candidates at all levels, and that we want to say in four years that the road to the White House continues to go through Winthrop University.